hello and welcome back to another video um there's a lot going on over here videos i haven't edited yet and i actually wanted to edit more before i opened this but it's now like 11 30 at night and i just gave up let me know how i did on my first ever high ponytail really trying <laughs> um what's kind of funny right now is i'm editing the morrow and morrow video right now this one <laughs> i'm going to kill myself So I guess they made really stable figures in 2009, because I think they're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Anyways, <laughs> today we've got a box. I actually wanted to wait until the other one came in, because I ordered them at the same time. But you know how Good Smile works, they ship things out different times, even though they went for pre-order at the same time and all that jazz. But let's get into it. I couldn't put who I wanted to up here for this video because bunny figure, way too big. If you didn't read the title, it's my Jabril Nendroid and I actually got the bonus with her. The Jabril bunny is way too big to fit up here, so yeah. <laughs> I think my only pre-orders that are coming soon are all of my um, Good Smile pre-orders because everything else is being shipped via C parcel. Unless it's my Kyo Nendroid, which got shipped via DHL because it was only $6 more. Um, the Ganyu figure was supposed to come out with Kyo, but Ganyu got delayed to March, sadly. So my March is even more ridiculous now. Love that for me. I also ended up buying one of my Grail figures that, coincidence, one of the Grail figures that I've been watching for a while. It's the one-to-one -one scale of Kyubei. I'll pop a picture right here. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that I bought that. Got it on Yahoo!, no, I got it on Mercari Japan. Brand new inbox, never opened. I'm hoping it's not gonna be sticky. We'll see when we open it together. <laughs> All right. Okay. Paper. All right, here we go. Here's the bonus. There we go. <laughs> and I know I talked about it before. This is not tissue rough at all. <laughs> I know I talked about it before, but all of the No Game No Life androids, I literally would have gotten aftermarket because they are so good. I ended up getting my Shui aftermarket because she's literally one of my favorite characters on the show. If they made a Steph Nendroid, that would have been snatched up when I immediately started. Same with the Shui. Um, but if they do ever release the Shui again, I will buy her again because I love her Nendroid so much. Um, I have Jabril, and the other one, if you couldn't guess, that went up for pre at the same time is the uh, Shiro Nendroid. Um, I don't know if she has a bonus, but if she did, I did get it because I got them both off of Good Smile US. So, yeah. <laughs> I really hope they eventually one day release the Sora and Android, re release the Sora and Android, and what am I doing? Re release the Sora and Android, and also re release the, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. It's like Ryuk? Ryuki? The guy that Shui is in love with. I hope they make an Android of him one day. I don't know, we got host club Nendroids and nobody was expecting that, so it is possible. It's like when we got the uh, second season of The Devil is a Part-Timer. Nobody thought that would happen. <laughs> All right, ooh! We got some sticker appliques. It's not gonna load. Not load, focus. <laughs> what am I thinking? As I said, it's 11.30 at night. I am tired. Yeah. Okay, so even though she's an older Nendroid, she doesn't come with too, too many accessories. I love her face though, oh my gosh. <laughs> she looks so good. Okay, I'm happy that I ended up getting her. You know, she's one of the Nendroids that would have always been on my list and I would have eventually gotten. But it's just like, when do I want to spend over $100 on an Android? Because that's how much all the No Game No Life Nendroids are really going for. Oh, gosh. Hate packages because they always pop things out. All right, we've got a boring base. Awesome, awesome. We've got some hand parts. They did her tattoos. Not her tattoo, I should say. I only see one of them. Good. Yeah, it's not going to focus very well. 
Okay, so let's look at faceplate number one. Very fun. Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Lighting is not good today. I love that one. I love how sly it is. And then we've got like the drooling one, which come on. That's a banger for sure. We've got, I love, they gave you a bent leg for each leg because you know how she's got the asymmetrical socks. I love that they put that detail in. They've got her book. Sadly, there's no writing in the book. Like the E Stream figure that I just opened the other day. I would also put her up here, but she sticks out for my bookshelf way too much. And she was so expensive that I do not want to risk it, but I love her so much. Oh my god, E Stream has won me over. Anyways, back to Nendroids, who also have won me over. Here's the book. It's got kind of a boring. Come on. You can totally see it, yeah. <laughs> kind of a boring cover. Normal, whatever. And the inside is just plain. Um, we've got her iPad, which I think that's what you put the sticker in. See, I'm trying to be careful because I know she's got a lot. Yep, you definitely put the sticker in the iPad. It's an old iPad. It's got the home button, but it's not Apple. It's Cherry. <laughs> Let's grab her out. I think I cut myself off. I want to be careful with her because she's got a little, a little, a lot of little doodads hanging all over her. So here she is fresh wrapped <laughs> her gradient on her hair looks great i do have a little bit of like bubbling in the paint on her hair but i mean who looks at the back of the hair honestly am i in inhaling doses of copium yes but <laughs> who wouldn't oh, okay so her little halo just popped right off when i was trying to get the uh plastic off of that Good. Ooh, her pieces of clothing move. That's fun. It's waving at you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm so scared. Oh. I don't know the best way to take all of this apart because I don't want to break a single thing. Like, I know she recently, like, I just got her, so if she's broken, I can say, hey, she's broken and get a replacement part. But this terrifies me. Okay, let's rip her head off. Oh, I'm pressing into things I don't know what are. Okay, head ripped off. So here's her hair and her gradients. Very nice. <laughs> I love that the plastic is right there so you can't see her face at all. There we go. <laughs> oh, she is so cute. I didn't realize this until right now. They gave her normal ears on top of her little like fox ears. So that's kind of funny. That's kind of fun, funky, fresh. Here she is. Gorgeous girl. Good detailing. We know good smell can produce good things. All right, we're gonna rip her tibbies off. Oh gosh. I feel like this is one of the Nendroids that they actually got her chest well done. Nendroids that are well endowed usually look really weird because they're supposed to be cheaty. But I think they did her very well. Her wings are little neck pegs. They're like um, Figma neck joints, so that's nice. Her clothing, I have no idea how this is on here. I think this is a little neck peg in the back. That's how I broke my rough Talion android is I didn't know the hair swiveled. And I guess I swiveled it the wrong way and broke off one of the pigtails. So that's why she's on my My Figure collection again for order because I wanted a not broken one and I sold my broken one. Don't worry, I fully disclosed that it was broken and I fixed it. But <laughs> that broke my heart so much because I spent like over a hundred dollars for that Nendroid and I broke it immediately. And then she went up for pre-order not too too much later. So there's an attachment point in the back for her. I don't know what you would call the skirt. It's weird because there's the middle piece. I've never known what to really call it. Let's look. I think the middle piece is just supposed to hang down like a loincloth. Yeah. Oh my god, these poses are so cute. I'm definitely going to show as many poses as possible for her. You're getting one pose. That's it. <laughs> one pose. But the wings are beautifully sculpted as well. I wonder if they'd ever make a, a war, like consider making a war version of her. Because that's what her bunnies are. Her, well, 
bunnies were. She had two bunnies. One of them was stockings, and that was her first one. That was her show. And then the other one was her non-stockings, and that was her war version from the movie. And then they decided to re-release the original one without the stockings from the show, which I don't know why they did that. I think the other two were fine. I feel like they're going to do it with the taiga, and I fear that I might like taiga better without tights. Stupid young naive me did not know what they were gonna do with Tyga making a tiger version. I do like the bunny version better, but still that was so cheap of freeing to do. I I don't know. I seem to like the whiter I don't know. I don't know actually. Cause some of them I'm like, yes, that looks so much better without tights. Like the Raf Talia that just went up. She looks great without tights in my opinion and really makes the suit pop. She looks brighter, she looks happier. I don't know. But, um, like my Lucy bunny, I don't think she would look good without tights. Now this was a good prediction because that literally just went up as I'm editing this like two days ago and it looks so bad. I'll put a picture, it looks so bad. So I made a, I made a good prediction there. Oh, come on. Oh, it's fighting the neck type. She's going to be hell to set up, oh my God. So her, her leg does also have the uh, tattoo as well. Let me see if I can pull out a leg piece. So you can see it on the bent leg right there that they did get the tattoo on the leg. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really happy that Good Smile looks at the tiny details. Like when Kotobukiya actually looked at the details for the song on Barbara's ring. I'm talking about her because I just posted her video. Um, that made me so happy because they looked at something and they're like, that's easy enough to do. And they did it. <laughs> but here is our base Jabril. All cleaned up. Come on. It's my sock on the tile if you're wondering. But yeah, look how cute she is. We love a good demonic smart girl. I'm gonna change her base plate out. Ooh. I think we're going slide. It's so funny to me that she has human ears. Yes. Gorgeous. She's a queen, guys. <laughs> what? Oh no, I forgot her halo. <laughs> Would let her take my soul multiple times. Would let her beat me in a mental game. Would suffocate for her. If you've watched the show, you know what I'm talking about or read the books, I don't know. I haven't fully read the books. It's my plan to read every single book because they stopped doing the show. I mean, I think the books also got chopped as well, but where's my knife? There it is. <laughs> I love No Game, No Life. Literally one of my top time favorite series. I don't know, Shadow's House is getting really close to beating it out. I love Shadow's House. Time to look at the bonus. Perfect. The bonus, uh, uh, Never mind. they're never gonna, I forgot what the bonus was. They're never gonna make a war version of her because this is her quote unquote war vi version the bonus they gave her the black halo and a skull the skull looks well sculpted so that is nice oh, i need a knife again why okay there we go black halo war crime in her hands perfect and she has a slide this is perfect <laughs> there we go If you're watching this and you've had her for a while, um, let me know how stable her halo is, like if yours broke really easily or whatnot, because that is something I definitely see an issue as an issue. Perfect. Here's our little war crime committer. She killed my favorite baby girl, but I still love her. <laughs> so yeah, here's Jabril. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to look at some more poses, <gasps> she stands up because of her hair on her own. <laughs> if you want to keep watching, um, I'm going to do some more poses here. I think she's so cute. Love her. So happy I got her. But yeah, hope you liked the poses. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas on how I could do better for other videos, let me know in the comments down below. I always read your comments and I always, excuse me, wow. I always try to comment back to you as well, so comment anything you want. You can tell me it's your birthday, I'll wish you a happy one. Like, <laughs> Go off, have fun in the comments. 
um like the video if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more of me which i know you don't want to or more of the figures i open because um i will also link my pre-order list down below that's everything you can expect for the rest of this year so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video which might be shiro